Ooh, that's, I love that voice. Not what it says, but I love the tone, not, not what it's saying. Um, okay, and then uh, Torsten, over to you. Okay, thank you, Vulani. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final presentation of the fourth Amazed Train Jam South Africa, which is an online and virtual train jam. We did it since uh, 2018. It's a train jam, usually between Johannesburg and Cape Town. We are bringing Joburg and Hoteng game developers from Joburg to Cape Town by making games and present them at Africa Games Week or Playtopia. Um, due to COVID, we couldn't do this the last two years, and hopefully we can continue in 2022 to be on the train and bring a lot of game developers to Cape Town to inspire the Africa Games Week and Playtopia and show the games. And um, yes, today is the day we've been game jamming for over 40 hours in the R chat and in a lot of other platforms as well. We used Discord and we used Zoom and we had a lot of meetings, a lot of status updates. Um, we also had a wonderful DJ set by the Crook um, on, on Friday and we had a performance, Masia performance um, yesterday evening, uh, which was very packed. Actually, it was full. There were 30 people in the house it was a wonderful performance yesterday with Root and Nanotopia. Um, and as well with the Metaverse Crew South Africa. And as well, yes, thank you to the Metaverse Crew South Africa for making this as well possible because they created the VR chat world. They also updated the VR chat world for us so that we can do even more events in the future. Um, also, you can jump in with Quest 1 and 2, which is fantastic and amazing. And um, I also like to thank Goethe Institute, Johannesburg, Bulani and Stephanie, who are working with us since years on making this project happen. Um, I also like to thank um, all the artists, because I mean, our topic of the game jam, of the train jam, was let's game jam art and um, usually we, we choose a topic um, something what people can think about and maybe do some research but this time we thought that uh, we should invite South African artists um, to to inspire the game developers and the world builders through their work and uh, we invited five artists um, including um, Samantha Maseko, Evie Rilamfu, Joao Orecchia, Sifiso Gumede, Sifo Guala. All of the artists have been present on Friday and made a kind of a small input for the game jammers and the world builders. And thanks again for participating in that wonderful journey with us. Um, hopefully you had a chance to also join some of the conversations and hopefully you can also join to play the games and also experience the VR chat worlds people were building. But yes, we are here now on Zoom and um, we have the opportunity to let the artists and the game developers and the world builders speak. Um, to give a little bit of context, um, Bulani will as well present a little bit, some, some, uh, some slides, right, about the artists very shortly. But before we do this, I'd like um, to bring on stage Stephanie from Goethe Institute. Um, we, are, we are working since a long time together, and it's always good to talk to you. Please send us your message now. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Thorsten. Um, uh, it was a wonderful fourth Amaze train jam. Um, this year, we first again wanted to be on the train, which wasn't, uh, which wasn't possible due to the pandemic situation. And then we needed to change during the last few days, three times the whole setup again due to the pandemic situation. But I'm very happy that we have been on Discord, on Zoom, and on VR chat, and we used all the platforms we could use. 
the physical layer hopefully next year um, will be possible and able to um, lay that on all the digital layers um, and to connect physically again. So I would like to thank everyone who participated and who was part of this train jam. Like Torsten said, um, it's a wonderful collaboration. So thank you so much, Torsten, for all the years of successful and wonderful working together. Um, big thank you to the Metaverse crew, Dick, uh, fantastic work. It looks so great. And uh, thank a big thank you also to Africa Games Week and to all the artists um, who gave us their artwork as an inspiration. Very big thank you also to Vulane who worked uh, day and night during the last days um, to make <laughs> things possible and shift things from the physical into the digital world. Um, he also edited the DJ set. So very big thank you to you and all of you. And I'm now very curious to see what the outcome is. Um, your wonderful projects. And at this point, back to you, Torsten. Thank you. Thank you very much, Stephanie. Yes, of course, Africa Games Week. Thank you. And Vulani. Uh, um, yeah, we we constantly in conversation uh, how we can do this, how we can actually run the whole event. And um, yeah, I'm super happy as well to have all these DJ sets in, in the new club, what um, Deke and Ray and 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 um, and um, oh, Deke, Ray. Who is self? Oh my, Jason, 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 right? Jason Stavidon, sorry. He's not online, he can't see this. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they, all three, they they created uh, the club, so where the music is also playing. Um, yeah, Bulane, do you want to say something? Give us a little bit of context about the um, artists. Yeah, Invite. sure, yeah, sure. Uh, thanks, Thank uh, you. Thanks, Dawson. Thanks, Dawson. Thanks, uh, Stephanie. Um, and just before I go and, and give uh, a little bit of uh, context, which is going to be way shorter. I see uh, Ivy had joined already and I was about to pass that uh, responsibility to her, but it's fine. I'll, I'll do it because it's just going to be a f two minutes, just a run rundown, particularly for people who were not here for the first session on Friday. So they know what's what's going on, and then they can sort of like have a understand where the inspiration for most of the games and worlds that came out of the jam uh, were inspired by. So, but before I just do that, I'd like to also just thank the the game devs and the VR and the world builders. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we really were planning something amazing. Some of it I can't even tell you right now, but it was going to be so big. It was going to be so amazing for you guys um, with a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff uh, for you. But uh, hoping that next year we'll be able to, to do it without the, 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 uh, the current situation with the, the, the COVID uh, variant. I hope next year we'll be in a better situation. Uh, because it really did um, affect us at the institute as well and i'm sure with the toast and, and everyone who was organizing the game jam um the train jam um like uh, you know also like emotionally i'm sure everyone shares my sentiments when you say it was quite you know felt quite sad uh, not uh, having to see you guys and, and interacting in the real world and just having fun and, and all of that but uh uh, considering of what, what we had planned initially, uh, but this sort of worked out okay again. And thank you so much again for just giving you all your time and everything and, and just helping uh, make this uh, train jam a success and what it is. Uh, with that being said, I am uh, the artist as well. Thank you so much for, uh, for contributing your works. Um, and then um, I am, with that being said, I'm just gonna, yeah, just go, I'm gonna I'll go through the slide that we shared on Friday just quickly. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, just the, the artists that are involved in their, in their work. Uh, if you have gotten, if you had a chance to go to VR chat at some point, you would have seen that we, uh, on, the, in, on the entrance, I see uh, Deke and the team, Ray and everyone, the Metaverse guys, everyone, they did an excellent job of actually putting the artworks up there as well. Because uh, like I said, we had an, an actual live um 
exhibition at the institution institute already uh, set up in a nice area where the game does uh, we're going to work in and yeah um so yeah we, we wanted to give you guys um refreshments but uh, now we can give you virtual refreshments which you can be found in the amaze train uh, see uh, tossin had some you had some drinks made tossin if i'm not mistaken right in the virtual train jam yeah? there was like i saw some cups or something some branded cups virtual drinks not the same as a real thing, but I mean, you know, I'm sure <laughs> so, some of the game game drivers uh, indulged. So uh, here I, uh, I'm about to share a screen now. So you just um, just just this up. Bulani, you're muted. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Hello? Oh, great, great. That's 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 great. That is great. Right. Um, uh, I'm sure everyone can see my screen, correct? Okay, so uh, we uh, are going to share the, okay, I'm sharing the artist uh, slides now. Uh, we, one of the, fir the first uh, artwork, which is also, ca which also can be seen in VR chat is from Sipo Kuala. Okay, uh, and uh, is also an access based in, okay, I'm also admitting some people here. So you might have to forgive me guys. I'm doing some uh, Zoom admin work as well while presenting. Uh, some people are joining us as well in the meantime, which is great, which is great. So we have the first piece from Sipo Kuala, who, uh, who is uh, also is an access based in Alex. And this is the piece he did, contributed, Velim Puso, which is a piece that uh, uh, he, 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 uh, he contributed uh for uh the train uh jam which is uh acrylic charcoal on board um and then this is uh this image and uh his uh history which uh i'm just gonna read the first few uh lines of his bio sipo charles guala was born in tembisa hospital in the year 1985 and grew up in alexandra township Kuala completed his uh, school education at Northview High School in 2003. Um, Kuala attended uh, business mentorship at Good Institute South Africa for six months in 2019, and he has collaborated with both international and local artists and has commissions from the post office in the Johannesburg Development Agency. Uh, the uh, next piece is by Sifiso Kumede. This is charcoal, uh, white chalk, acrylic, and crayons. And this Fiso it was born in Guazulu Natal, um, and and his and his piece is uh, the chase. Um, this is his bio. Dreams are a part of our human existence. That happens while we sleep. We sleeping as human beings. We all have our own interpretation interpretation of their dream, of the of the of their dreams. Dreams are a series of thoughts, images, and sensations. Uh, occurring in a person's mind during sleep. Sifiso is a professional uh, printmaker, artist, a social and cultural entrepreneur. He was born in Alexandra and believes in establishing, uh, establishing a gallery that will assist emerging artists and also developing printmaking, uh, printmaking uh, art school in the long term. If I'm not mistaken, his dream is already uh, coming to fruition. Uh, I think Stephanie did mention that he's already built this uh, um, gallery or is in the process of building. Correct me if I'm wrong, Stephanie. I think that was Sipo. Oh, um, Sipo. So you confound oh. them, but uh, uh, Sifiso is on the call, so you can ask him. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sifiso has joined. Great, amazing. Sifiso, are you there? Because you didn't. You also didn't. Uh, uh, you went. You, you unfortunately couldn't join us on Friday. So today you can actually just uh, introduce yourself, uh, let everyone know who you are, and uh, a little bit on the piece, and then. Uh, yeah, because I think uh, this is your would be opportunity. Hello, Sefiso. I'm sure you cannot hear me. 
Can you hear me, bro? Oh, can you hear me? All right. Yeah, can you give us a little Yes, I can. Yeah, just give us a little bit on your background, my brother, and then uh, we can move since we are not able to do so on Friday. Yeah, I will just be brief, name my brother. So yeah, I'm from Alexandra. I was born in Alexandra. Then I'm an artist, a professional printmaker, and a social and cultural entrepreneur. I did attend it um, uh, at the hub for six months. Then currently, I'm busy developing my second edition. My first edition was uh, supported by Kute, where I did my solo exhibition. So currently, I'm busy developing new works of Lino Cut. I'm hoping to host an exhibition this year including um, performing outside specific and, and, and a vocal. So my work is based on like my dreams. I believe in like doing my dreams and I, I use um, mathematical symbols to find hidden language and changing alphabets into numbers. So yeah, that's Fiso Komete. Thank you so much, Sifiso, which leads me to something, uh, which uh, another big uh, mystery, which everyone, uh, co which confounded everyone on Friday, because what people wanted to understand, what is the meaning of it? Yes. The, and some were able to decipher it. Yes. Let's just get it from uh, this, the proverbial horse's mouth. What do the numbers mean? Oh, oh 38. Because oh, 38, the numbers means chase. It's a, it's, ah. I changed um, alphabets. If you can check, C, three is C and eight is G, it's H. I mean, then when you calculate all the numbers means chase. So <laughs> currently like I'm developing another different formula of, of calculating numbers where I go deeper and deeper and deeper, finding like a hidden, a hidden meaning and finding another new meanings. Uh, great, great. Thank you so much, Papa. Actually, uh, the, so we can confirm that I believe it was Phil and Stephanie who cracked the code on Friday. So uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, shout out to you guys. You are actually... Yoo-hoo! <laughs> yeah, it was a tech team. Man. It was oh, it was yes. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, uh, cool. Then we so... to... The next artist uh, work who, uh, that the work is by Joao. It's an audio piece. Uh, Rhythmic Deconstructions of Daily is the title. Using a combination of techniques for extracting and analyzing rhythms of recordings of the, sub sub of the urban soundscape of Delhi alongside several sampling and sound manipulation techniques, I created a series of Sonic sketches that represent alternate readings of the cacophony that is Delhi, made at Koch International Artists Association as part of association as part of the Coriolis Effect Residency in 2016. Um, and uh, this is a short bio on, on Joao. Uh, Joao is an artist, composer, and maker of physical and virtual things that play with reality by, by deconstructing it, shifting expectations of standard uses or, or purposes of objects and processes. Through experimentation and improvisation, uh, Oretia, Oretia explores the sound's connected, connective capacities through both its physical properties and material preconscious properties, seeking a balance between computer technology, field recordings, and traditional music instruments. Uh, Oretia participates in the gallery and museum exhibitions with installation, video drawing, and printmaking. Oretia has received the South African Film and Television Award for Sound Design and is published in the Leonardo Music Journal and the Oxford Handbook of Studies. Joao is a co-founder and co-director of Motherbox together with artists Lindy Wemachikese and Mahosi Khabi. All right, and then the next artist we have is uh, Ivy and her piece is Mrs. Uh, Shungwane, which is oil on enamel. Uh, here she writes a little bit about the piece, background on the piece. I met Mrs. Schumann a few years ago as part of the women I document around jo Johannesburg CPD. My first encounter with her, uh, she was selling her fresh produce and she was very welcoming. Uh, through many engagements, I got to be able to document her and create the artwork as shown above. Uh, bees represent a stand to communicate longevity, vitality about the women I portray. It is a communicative met uh, metaphor about women. Bees in the work represent or symbolizes celebration for the bees uh, that have come to celebrate. The number of bees represent the number of days she works in a week. This is uh, uh, Ivy and this is a bio. Ivy creates portraits of black women as she inve investigates different versions and various roles that black women play in South Africa, particularly looking at street vendors. 
Uh, IV creates rendered portraits on enamel plates. The use of base of for the uh, the use base of, of the portraiture is quite interesting as she takes items that are supposed to fulfill a utilitarian purpose and makes them a centerpiece that is made to be looked at and appreciated. Rilanfu states that the portraits are made up of women she encounters in her life. Some are found selling vegetables, sweets, fruits in, uh, in the streets of Johannesburg. Through her work, Ivy documents and creates monuments of these women who contribute towards the well being of their families and inherently contributing towards the national. GDP through participation in the informal sector in their own way. For her, for her, the women embody power, valor, determination, as well as a holistic sense of beauty, grace, and meekness. And then I believe this is the final piece. Uh, it is by uh, Samantha Masego, and it's titled Cradle of Women, Womankind, which is etching on Fabiano. The artwork revolves around the themes of feminism and identity. It tackles the mixed conception of beauty about black women and how society's ideas have put them under pressure for so many years. The work shows the evolution of black women throughout the years by raising 21st century controversies around black women bleaching their skin, replacing their natural hair with a synthetic hair and modifying their bodies to fit certain beauty standards. The artwork is inspired by the cradle of, human, of humankind monument. Samantha's bio. Uh, Samantha's work stems from a process of learning, discovering, and healing. It revolves around the themes of feminism and identity with aims of showing the versatility of the subject matter and allowing people to connect with the work. Samantha is interested in the historical events that leads Black women to bleach their skin and replace their natural hair with synthetic hair or straightening it, presumably to fit uh, into certain beauty standards. Samantha advocates for the celebration of Afro hair and style hairstyling rallying against it being regarded as a downgrade. She regards Black Afro as a symbol of status and power with reference to the popular terms such as crowning glory to refer to her. The series of work, there was shame, then came pride, a sense of self, serves as cathartic dialogue between the girl, little girls and every Black woman. With their other work, a series of works, Optical Facade uh, and uh, One, and The Cradle of Womankind, she seeks to empower women from all walks of life who felt degraded or dismissed by, so by social media and society's beauty standards. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, uh, Torsten, for giving me the opportunity to share with uh, the participants the amazing works from the artist. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you very much, Bulane. Very nice voice as well. Um, oh. <laughs> um, yes, let's let's do it. Right. I mean, uh, um, we we have some work. What you want to present? Um, what uh, came out of all the inspiration we we got from the artworks. Let's game jam art. I think it's a very nice thing. We should do it again. So I think it's. Uh, uh, I just got positive feedback from from the developers and world builders, and I think it's a very nice way as well to integrate artists in a digital world which they probably not use now, but maybe in the future. And maybe as well that game developers or world builders or even media artists working with visual artists together as well and sound artists. But uh, I know Joao is working already on a very electronic and digital level as well. So, but I don't know how it is with CPSO or C4 or with Samantha and with Ivy. Um, yes. I think before we're going to jump into the VR chat, because I've seen um, that there are much more outcome in the VR chat, what we can uh, discover. And there will, Geek will um, be there and having a camera and, and also some people waiting there and going to present the world. But before we do that, um, we had a page on HIO. Um, for the fourth Amazed Train in South Africa. And I have two entries in there. And um, the first entry is called B, B.E.E, .E, from Space Salad Studios. And um, I think Tavo is online, right? And it would be lovely if you want to share what you created with your team partner. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. Hey. Uh, thank you so much for the introduction, Torsten. 
Um, yeah, um, let me just, how much time do I have? Because um, I'm just opening it up here so I can share my screen. I think when you, when everybody has kind of five minutes, I think that's totally fine, right? Okay. Sure. All right, let me show my screen. It's a mobile game, right? Yeah, it's a mobile game, but I'm playing it on, um, what's this? Um, blue stacks. Yo, Neil, mm -hmm. can you please come help me? Oh, here we go. This button yeah. is like right in front of me. Okay. Okay. Nah, I got it. I can't hear the, that's the problem. Like, oh, snap. Like can you guys hear the sound? Oh, no, I'm talking to you. Yeah, we can hear you. Can the, you hear the, the music? Uh, are you asking in terms of the audio coming from the game? Yes, sir. No, can you hear uh, the audio from the game? No, we can't hear the audio from the game. Uh, just check there because I enabled all, all uh, audio from, from screen sharing on my side. So just check in your, on your side if you have. I, I got it. I got it. Um, I just needed to switch it on on my side. Can you hear it now? Perfect, man. Go ahead. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Uh, so I wasn't quite sure what to say about it because um, we were taking in uh, another artist's interpretation of what of um, their experiences and you know um, whatever inspired her to produce this piece. So I wasn't really too sure, but what I can say is when we were creating this, we were inspired by the story about the lady, the, the street vendor, uh, as she mentions. And um, when I used to go to school, I used to walk in town. And I don't know if you've been to CBD, but like these, they're the first people you engage with outside of your taxi driver or your bus driver or whoever's dropping you off in town. But the, these are literally the first people that you see you, you encounter. And um, yeah, so I was like, how do we now gamify her experience with a little bit of ours so like how do we collaborate on this piece and this is what we essentially came up with um this is b as in black economic empowerment but also b <laughs> but uh yeah so this is the game um and what the player has to do is so basically you have to take this flower safely to the lady um in, in the artist story. And uh, this is basically, we try to, I don't know, give a metaphor of the whole bees and um, how she, like the, 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 the symbols that the artists use with the bees and the lady and how she's the queen bee. And we took things that we associated with bees, like uh, flowers, you know, because they like uh, pollinate flowers. And uh, basically you have to guide the flower back to the ladies in her hands. And basically what we're trying to say or conversate with this piece or this game is we want to tell people that they should give people their flowers while they're still alive. So you always got to show pre people around you appreciation while they're still around, you know, um, just like um, Torsten, the people here at the Goethe, you know, the people that made it possible, even the ladies that are on the street, you know, it could be anyone, people that you don't really appreciate as much, but it's always good to give them flowers while they're still alive. And we, we try to show this in the game. Um, let me play it again and uh, you guys can check it out. Unfortunately, we only got time to do one level. So this is the level. And yeah. So yeah, if the flower dies, I don't make it to the lady, you know, but if I do make it to, I bring her some joy, I bring her happiness. So that's basically how we, like, this is what we came up with. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't know, I didn't have much to say, but it was more of a, a heartfelt piece. I mean, the first game we've ever done like this, but yeah. Ah, uh, that's the end. I'm gonna cry, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's, that's the end of my presentation. I hope you guys like it. That was amazing. Thank you so much. I'm 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 really crying. I'm really crying. So um, I mean, it's uh, really cool to see such a work. Um, it's epic music and. Uh, and it's also good to see uh, um, that um, you you 
you used the elements and also um, what Ivy was kind of bringing into her work. Um, and Ivy is also here, right? So maybe Ivy, what, what do you think? I mean, without judging, it's just like, what, 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 what do you think and how do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> Ivy, uh, I think I think she wrote something on the in the chat, and it's wow. Oh, I'm here. A lot of oh, oh she's here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um. Oh my goodness. Um. Goosebumps. Oh. Oh no. Um. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. Um, you know, when they said, okay, something will come up, I never thought in this end. And so simplified, so crisp, you know, that I think also it carries that um, the aesthetics and also the story again, they marry. And it's like, oh my goodness, this flower must not die. And, you know, um, wow. Thank you. Oh, I'm so. Yo, <laughs> thank you so much, Tavo. This is amazing. Wow. News, news for the uh, year. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And yeah. I think on behalf of the whole Space Alert team, and uh, some of them are here right now and they listen. Thank you so much. This means a lot to us. Um, we were scared, actually. You thought, sure. you thought you were wow. going to say, wow, this mm. is, you guys ruined my art, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Really appreciate it. No. Mm hmm mm hmm Oh, um, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, you also can play the game. I, I'm going to share the, 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 the site. Um, so just like that you basically can, I mean, it will be shared in any way on the website, but here is the game. So it's, uh, it's for Android right now, exactly. Yibo, 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 Android. Um, but yeah, you can catch us outside, you can catch us on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, yeah, I mean, everywhere. Awesome. But thank you so much, thank you guys. So much. Uh, really appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. We appreciate that as well. Thank you, Tabo. See you very soon. And then we have another game here on HIO. This is from Walter, I can imagine, as I remember from last meeting. Cellular automa automata from art to art. Walter, tell us more about, thank you. Hello. 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 <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'll share my screen. And uh, so I made some generative art. And this is what happens. So currently, the way that it's working is that um, it's starting from one of the visual artworks and it's, it's doing a lot of, uh, stuff to generate some, uh, some art from it. And then I can press a button and then it goes to the next artwork. Um, so the first one was from the plates. The second one was from, uh, cradle of, of women kind, uh, how is it put? I think that's the title. Um, and so it's these things aren't really uh, you can't like say how they will form uh, every time it's starting from from a new artist's work uh, when I restart it uh, and you can't say the kind of patterns that it will form. I, I had a, uh, some setbacks with the power outage load shedding um, so I didn't get to all my cool ideas that I had but I, I still think it's something that's um interesting to watch um you know you basically uh start there you could see those plates 
Um, you start from that original artwork and then it it basically generates and it fills the world with with um, <laughs> color, I suppose, uh, influence from from those artworks. Uh, one way to to that I could have added um, uh, the fifth artist was to just play um, the soundtrack along with us. Unfortunately, I also didn't manage to do that. Thank you so much. How is this working? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was just about to ask, uh, Walter, this is amazing. And I know you based it on the, on the, uh, you know, the, 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 what is it called again? Help me, Walter. <laughs> what? <laughs> game, um, um, game of Life. So, yeah. uh, so there's a rule. Yeah, I think that's what Lawson is asking right now. What, what, what is yeah. the rule? following so, so the art, it looks amazing though it's an it's an adaptation from the game of life um where uh which is something that's just based on some simple rules um to see uh whether the cell should survive or change color each of those little pixels are just driven by rules and that's the area that I would have liked to have the time to go into deeper, as I said, with the original inspiration that I had from the different artists and their approach. Um, uh, so I, I had all this stuff planned. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but I that's think cool. the result is still something nice to look at. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, well, we can look at it as if that was part of the experience, the fact that, uh, you know, as <laughs> influenced uh, <laughs> how yes. the game actually ended up looking it would have looked different but uh, i guess this is what it was meant to be so this is part of the performance art piece the part the whole the whole experience is the arts <laughs> mm. yeah thanks to escom we have this and this is good in its own right and it's beautiful thank you so much um yeah Otostan, is that what you wanted to find out correct um yes thank you um I think what what is also for me interesting to see, or maybe also to to just like to discover, and maybe Walter, you can help me. So the artworks by itself, they can is it? I mean, you give every pixel, you give a rule, right? More or less. So it's all, yeah. Uh, so it's really it's based on what the artist sees in the world, or what you see in this in the in the art, and this well, how how are you going to build the rules? I mean, it's not finished yet. Do you want to work on that further? Because I think this yeah. would be fantastic. I, I, so. um, that, that was the plan. It was basically to, from each of those, maybe I can show you just as a, a little, um, some planning that I was busy with. Um, so each of the artists had their different uh, kind of way that they interpreted the expression from the way that they interact with the environment and the things that they see. Um, the first artist was uh, uh, Cradle of Womankind. Am I saying that correctly? Um, mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's a it's a, a concern for identity um, uh, with the you know the way that people there's a toxic toxic representation of their skin color. Um, and so she expresses through through fashion and 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 you know uh, the way that that she presents herself and others could present herself. Uh, she encourages them to uh, to be themselves, to express them, themselves instead of just uh, taking on other uh, people's stuff. Um, and so basically, uh, this this pixel, this color pixel, would go and and set other pixels alight. Uh, to become their own color, um, if if they are just part of, if they are like dead pixels, um, you know, it goes and it and it sets other pixels alight. And I probably won't go through all of them, but the second artist uh, basically reimagines the state, um, the the dimension for everybody. And in this case, uh, it would have rotated all the pixels that's around it um no matter who's there and so they would everybody around this pixel would find um different uh suddenly find themselves in a different uh kind of setting um the third one being of empathy and nurture um with uh, those ladies that sit next to the road that that are selling these things it's a matter of survival for themselves 
but it's also providing uh, survival for those around her. So this one uh, is slower moving, um, but uh, creates food like like uh, sustenance for the other pixels to survive. Otherwise, they will they will die, um, and they'll just go into the into the background. And artist four. Uh, is the one that looks inside and it and it and it looks at uh, the past and the ancestors, um, you know the 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 voices from the past is brought into the into the present, and uh, as influence. And so the way um, that would have worked with the pixels is that uh, pixels that have died uh, because of other reasons. If if this per, if this pixel is around, then those pixels become alive again. They don't uh, they don't uh, limit movement, but they you know they are going to look different, like like uh, ghosts, different color. Um, they won't limit movement, but they will still have an effect on the other pixels around them. So their actions still speak, even though they've passed on. Um, and the fifth artist is that uh, freedom. That, that he needs and the freedom of expression. Um, so basically like a pixel that's moving fast and twirling around um, and drawing some other pixels closer to, to the path that, that it's moving in. Um, so, you know, those, those were the rules that I have been uh, planning just as an abstraction of uh, the different mm. artists approach that struck me and uh, Unfortunately, not everything got in, so that's the plan. Um, Thank you so much for giving us the insights. This is really, really incredible. So I, I, for me, it's, I've heard about uh, Game of Life, but um, how does this really set up and how this works? This, uh, and, and also how you can actually change it when you have an idea, when you have, want to create your own rules and have... Uh, there's no way to know if it's going to work out, if it's going to do something interesting, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe they all the okay. pixels just die. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Cool, yeah, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Walter. We should work on this further. It's awesome. Yeah, I like I like the project. <laughs> That's great. Um, yes, I think uh, I, I ask in the, into the group: Is there another game? We, 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 we can present now um, because I just have two entries on HIO, but maybe there's one other game. Otherwise, we would jump into the R chat with Deek and, um, and see what's happening in the R chat, what the world builders are created in the Amaze train station and as well outside the, uh, the train station. Cool, all right. Um, so there are quite a few uh, different people who contributed different parts of uh, virtual reality projects. So maybe if I can just ask them to jump in when, when we get around to their, to their section, that would be, that would be great. So um, like uh, Eggs did some really cool uh, character work on on Friday and uh, and today, uh, V-Ray dropped in some really cool updates to the train station, um, and uh, yeah, and 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 there was a uh, two worlds that we loaded into the train. You'll see here on platform one. There's the new 2021 train, right? And inside, we've got. V-Ray's model that he's, that he's put together that, that maybe he can chat to us a little bit about. We've got this squishy little guy that you can play around with. This is, um, this is Egg's little tardy grade, um, and he can explain that. And we've got the avatar that's made from it, as well as two worlds here. Um, let me let me hand over to to Ray real quick, and he can chat us through. Um, Ray, you there? I am indeed. Yes. Do you wanna? Should we head up to the to the roof, and you can chat through your 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 project or your yeah, idea? What I, what I what I thought to do is, I, should I if I just share my screen quickly, and then we'll then we'll switch over to VR chat. So, do you mind if I share my screen? Sure. Thanks. 
Okay, so Ray's going to share. Okay, let's have a look here. In a second. Do you guys see my screen? Got it. Cool. Yeah, so yes. let me just. All right, let me just see. Jump this here. All right, can you see? Can you see my hands here in VR? Yeah, there, there is a what echo it? though. Is there? Let me just maybe just maybe just mute myself. Uh, let me try anyway. So, yeah. So, welcome to um, <laughs> a potential solution to the housing crisis. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've thought long and hard about ideas for like um, what they call mass urbanization, because at the moment there's huge amounts of of people that can't afford housing. Everyone from you know from from all, all walks of life are finding it more and more difficult to find affordable housing. And there's been a kind of a boom in, I'm sure you've seen them, container houses uh, with metal, you know, those metal containers from ships, like shipping containers. Um, but people don't know it, but to build with shipping containers is nearly the same price as building with bricks and mortar. It's more just a, it's become a fashionable thing, but it's not really that efficient. So, yeah, we came up with this idea to, to these, these are concrete, um, concrete pipes. Uh, that you actually that are currently used in South Africa for massive like for water supply uh, and, and and just general service supply. So they're readily available pipes um, that uh, we believe could essentially form into like almost a beehive of a of a of a community. So we've literally taken the exact the exact size of those concrete pipes um, and we've just um, we've shaved the front of them to give a bit of a, uh, a an interest to them. And the idea is that they form a, a kind of a, a one bedroom studio apartment. Um, and you have this, the idea is you, you put in a, a timber deck and underneath the timber deck, underneath the space here, you can actually get, uh, you know, get some of your, your, your piping could run down here. This might be your services, your service zone. So you have, you have your piping running on the, down, down the back here. Um, but you have a little porch area with a, with a, with a seating space. Um, and then you come through to this zone here, uh, and are we still building it though? So this will be a, potentially your, your bed space um, and a, a little seating, a little seating area, and potentially a little table for a little kitchenette, and then a like a, a glass facade that looks over to the horizon. So what Deke's done for us as well, he's put this um, he's put this whole VR um, this space into our, into the train station. So we've dropped it right on the roof. In here is a the bathroom. Don't, don't mind the purple shower tray. <laughs> We're still going to change that. Um, so this is the bathroom space, and yeah, it's, it's and you can stack them. You can stack them and add a staircase to the side, and you can make an in, in theory you can make an entire village. Very cost effective, very rapid way to uh, to solve the housing crisis. So maybe with that, let me just jump into the the VR station part here. So I should be able to go to VR. Do you now see my my VR screen? The VR yep. train job. Yeah. Looks, looks good. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. So here, um, what Deke's done is he's put in a, he's just dropped it in the train itself. He's dropped a little model of this, of this. I can grab a chair and have a look at it in this scale. Shaking a bit, and then I can actually even chuck it. Goodbye. <laughs> um, and uh, we can walk up to the top and walk up to the top space. Deke's put it right on the roof for us. So, so let's see here. Uh, just up the stop space. I mean, what's nice being right on the roof, you get these incredible views, which you'll see. I'll walk up here. Yeah, it's up to the top. So you can see, you can see them there. They're, ma they're pretty massive. Um, just walk around the edge. We put them floating on water because concrete definitely floats on water. <laughs> In VR, there's anything possible. No, every... <laughs> um, so here we go. Oh, we have some visitors. Oh, here's, uh, here's, here's Deke. <laughs> so Deke. Uh, yeah, so this is it. This is part of the, we've just, we've just started. We're still lighting and putting textures and stuff. Um, but you can, you can kind of get a, a sneak peek uh, through there, that window. You get these beautiful views over Joburg or Josie, Josie Cape Town. And um, yeah, we're, they're excited about where this goes. <laughs> we might have to, we might consider the position, but that's where they are for now. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's me. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Great. Thank you. That's really amazing. It's uh, incredible 
uh, now I understand as well the tube thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I came in earlier today uh, to visit the, uh, the train station. I was just taking pictures and then I saw these shoes and I couldn't understand what is going on. Thankfully, <laughs> thanks for this explanation. <laughs> now you understand. I just thought, wow, there's some nice design piece, you know, just for aesthetics. Now I see there's yeah. so much thought that went into this. So yeah, this is, this is great. Thanks for that. Uh, so there's a little bit more to show you guys in, in VR. So Ray, can you let me share my screen again? Yeah, of and course, I'll, of course. I'll con continue the tour sure. real quick. <clears throat> Thanks, Ray. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. So, as you, so as you can see, we've got the, we've got. Um, Ray, Ray was saying yesterday when we were putting this on the roof, he was a bit worried about the st structural integrity of the, of the of the building, and and how much all these tubes might weigh. So. We're gonna have to get some safety inspectors to check that out sometime. <laughs> there is um, another another team project which uh, had um, Adrian, another architect. He was uh, he he really got hit hard by the load shedding, um, but he managed to get us some really cool. Uh, textures to put into this next little space that I'm going to show you guys now. <clears throat> so this little character here, Egbert, are you, are you on the call there? Eggs? Is he... Is that what the virus is going to look like next? <laughs> so, so this is this is a, a little avatar that you can pick up, and it's a little tardigrade, right? And then you can you can um, uh, it, it attaches to your hand, and, it, and then it floats around. And what we did with this is we created a world. So I'm going to jump in that portal and show you show you what that looks like. So these tardigrades are these tiny little microscopic little creatures and they can survive in like any um, environment. You know, they, they can survive in space and they can survive like all over the place. So what we thought we'd do is we'd, we put this little sugar crystal world together. So we're having this tiny little, this tiny little microscopic um, party down here where we've tu we're tuning in some, some, some music um, plug, we can plug in Zhao's piece here and listen to the listen to the tunes, and um, we've got all our audio reactive effects going. Um, and you can pick up the the avatar here too. You can also adjust these little guys. We'll throw them around if you want. Cool. All right. Let me jump back into the train station and hand over. Um, it was a, there's another uh, portal and another world that we can show you, but I'll hand over to. Uh, I think Philip. Philip, Philip is waiting outside, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Philip, do you want to share or do you want me to come join you? Philip? I think Philip is in, in the art chat. I think he's oh, going okay. to join you. Let's, let's go find him. Yeah, the previous world looks amazing. That, yeah, it's just so much to take in. So a little time, everything is just great, amazing. Concept from conceptualization to implementation, it's really, really great stuff. Great work, guys. Yeah, and Sifisa needs to fasten his seatbelt now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just realized we were in the, in the wrong instance there. I'm just gonna go find Philip now.
<clears throat> but Ray, at the moment, I can't uh, um, go into the tubes, right? So I don't. Yeah, not at the moment. Uh, we just uh, we spoke for one last year. We want to add furniture and, and props and all sorts of mm. stuff into it. Mm, mm, mm. So we can rent it out in the future. Exactly. Yeah. Five thousand euros a night. <laughs> <laughs> we should create some residencies for artists exactly. in the that's a good idea. That's a good you know? idea. and they that's, could that's they nice. could live and work there and create it's something. It's a wonderful in the idea. Ah, there you Perfect. Go. Looks yes. Like that, yeah. yeah, we should do that. Oh. Philip, you're ready to go. Philip. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, we just need to get his audio. Uh, all right, I'm going to turn my volume up so I can hear him. And I'm going to have to, because because his audio is coming through VR chat, I'm going to have to uh, be the interpreter. All right, sure, got you, got your world. Ready to go? Yes, I can hear you. The, the, the other guys on the Zoom call can't hear you. Okay, so I'm just going to relay what you say to them. All right. Yes. I think that would be great. And then everyone can hear you. All right, he's going to turn on his Zoom mic and then he's going to be able to talk directly to you guys. Great That's a good plan, you. very good plan. Yes, cool. Perfect. All right, then uh, just a few words up front, maybe. Um, this is my very first VR chat world that I uh, built by myself. Um, so it's kind of like a rough sketch. Oh, ah, nice. Well, <laughs> watch your step on the platform. Yeah, you gotta mind your step. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I have to respawn. Sorry, guys. Well, I can talk anyways already. So I got inspired by CT source work as well as draws. I mean, all the works were very inspiring, but I decided to work with those two. And I kind of interpret them uh, free in, in freestyle mode. <laughs> Just bear with me, I'm walking to the platform. All right, I'm back. All right, now we can go. So yeah, let's just jump in. Can I love those loading screens? All right, let me know on the Zoom call when, when you can see the world. We can see yeah, it now, Phil. All right, perfect. So I kind of uh, took two different artworks and also there's like two different or many ideas in this world. So first, uh, I wanted to kind of create an atmosphere that fits to the, to the soundscape. So maybe you can hear the whole time that we hear the soundscape in the background, it's uh, not very loud. And so it's not too annoying and when you're walking around. And I was very lucky that I found this uh, asset pack uh, that we're basically seeing here. So I didn't model any of the, of the models, but I really just concentrated on uh, kind of placing them in the world and creating a little game. So it starts with, you have to follow the numbers, which is a uh, simple, simple version. And this should be much more, like a darker atmosphere and so on. So I didn't get into lighting as of now, um, but still, I think it kind of fits the atmosphere. 
And once you get through all, all these numbers, you can also see that the skywalk is a mashup of the artwork. All right, here we go. So I really like love the idea uh, of like uh, chasing or being chased in the dream and uh, not uh, not being chased but being scared or, uh, and, and this whole thought process uh, behind it. Um, so I turn it around a little bit and in this version you actually have to chase the cow instead of being chased by the cow. And you can hear some wonderful voiceover that I got from Lawless in the last minute. And when you just walk through it, uh, you will hear different elements of the backstory of the uh, artwork. So that's kind of the goal of this game is to chase the cow. And by that, getting to know the backstory of the artwork. And now let's see if we can make it all the way to the top. So you should really try and follow the the cow. It's also there to help you guide the way. Oh. And this, for me, this is like the the simple version, but it probably will still be uh, difficult if you don't know the way. So let's see if we can make it. So I think I don't know where you are right now. But I'm um, still on the first platform. Oh, right behind you. All right. Oh. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh, try to get back and just follow me another way. <laughs> I'll try my best. So it's kind of like a jump and run game in the yeah. Perfect. So let's go this way. And sometimes you need to be patient. Yeah, so you're gone. <laughs> Getting good at this. Yeah, I need some practice. Oh, uh, the voiceover is really good. It's really, it makes it. It sounds super professional. It sounds yeah, yeah it's really, really interesting. Has the voice. Thank you. I think you're on the call as well. It it, it was a pleasure. I, I, this is amazing. It's, it was a pleasure to be involved. I was I was more worried about my pronunciation. So, but it, I hope it came. I hope it. I hope it sounds right. And yes, sometimes the physics of these buildings is. Crooked, so definitely need some fixing. <laughs> now I told myself. But I can tell you, if you make it all the way to the top, you will, you will, uh, you will not regret it. I, I just fell off. I'm, I'm starting from, from step one again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should make an even simpler version for, for the first, first level. Like in the beginning, like I had all these towers and they were like floating in the air and uh, it, it, I don't know, it was really kind of magical to try to find your way with all these moving elements and so on. So now I try to make it as simple as possible, but still leaving some difficulty to it. And as I said, it's my first, uh, actually it's also my first game. I, I've never done a game. Yeah. I, re I really liked it. I, I just have seen it um, just um, here in the glasses as well. So I have to try it out later properly. Yes. To get up to the roof. Definitely. So, and, and uh, um, so it's Ephesus work in there, and then there is uh, Joao's work in there. Joao's oh, work. Yes. 
you have the his uh, soundscape in the background the whole time, and basically that's what led me to these towers because I was kind of thinking of deconstructing a city, and uh, I don't know. First, I just wanted to create like a very atmospheric world with all these towers, and they would kind of react to the to the sound and the different um, elements to it. And then uh, once I started playing around with the towers, I realized that it's actually quite fun to try to uh, jump from one to the other. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, like just opposite, just opposite the Coach uh, International Artists Association, where I was on residency and made that piece. There were a bunch of buildings that were were looked quite like this. Actually, it's pretty funny. <laughs> nice. Ah, Dick, you're flying. Ah, all right. <laughs> Did I win? Oh uh, no. Yeah, well, you're probably going to get disqualified. But... Let's see. Yeah, so there's like, I, I noticed there's like many different ways of enhancing this kind of game. I mean, it's like, one is like the movement of the towers, the amount of towers, and then of course, how high can you jump or playing with gravity and so on. Um, I didn't quite get into all these um, details yet, but I definitely want to continue playing with it. But it's incredible. I mean, it's your first VR chat world and you turned it into a game. It's impressive. Congratulations. Really Thanks. Nice. Uh, it was a lot of fun and it really helped to uh, have the artworks, I must say, to like um, have like a kind of starting point, you know, to not just start with a blank canvas. That made a lot of sense to me. It's good to hear. That's nice. Thank you, cool. Philip. All right. So the worlds are still existing in the train station. So um, everybody who has the possibility to have a PC or as well VR glasses can jump into this world and uh, try it out later. Are there any questions? I mean, the chat is really hyping up here though that was amazing absolutely amazing wow wow so brilliant i felt cp so felt out of the call <laughs> no great oh that's wonderful everybody loves it thank is, you philip uh, is basso is basso yeah it's great thanks where's basso <clears throat> I'm still falling off of the buildings, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, we can so, hear you, Basel. Oh, I think I'm going to stream all the way from my PC to my world. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's do that. All right. No. I got this menu. So then uh, Deek has to turn off the camera share, right? Or the screen share. So that we see Basso. Yeah, that's Basso sharing. Uh, it's, it's already Basso sharing. Yeah. Yeah, for some fun reason. I can open my menu. Okay. Uh, let me do this. Oh, cool. Uh, we can go now, guys. <sighs> wow. Sorry. All right. Uh, maybe let me change the avatar because my world is dark and this avatar is also dark. Let me get a light avatar. All right. Uh, so, guys, uh, welcome to Amabungi. Uh, this concept, I mean, this world actually works with two concepts. Uh, the one from Sipo with regards uh, to Alex, 
and also the one from CIFI. So we forgot to the chase, but I'm gonna quickly give you a brief tour. So when you come here, it's basically a township. And when you come inside here, this is where you can get the presidential quota. So here is a menu for the quota. So I wanted to actually simulate the quota. That's why I spent much time trying to play with uh, the mechanics of actually making your own quota. And yeah, we got flying quantums. We got flying quantums because we are in the metaverse. We don't have time uh, to be wasting on other stuff. So on this part of the world, uh, it's basically the car wash. And here is the DJ booth for the music uh, with the actual, the speakers that you see here, the actual speakers that are made by Mla. Um, so he uses uh, Sesotho, um, Sesotho patterns uh, for the stuff that he makes. So I just took it from him and I said, we're gonna make uh, the meta speakers from that. So this is a Chesanyama. And as we go this side, then when you go this side, basically this is the part where the chase, uh, where the work of Sfiso come from. Because how I see it, I saw that um, the grandmother, uh, he spoke about the grandmother and the church. And I thought like, uh, I spoke about the grandmother and worshiping. And I, we built this church, which is usually the most traditional churches that you can get. Uh, it's called Postola. So when you enter inside Postola, then you're gonna have this portal. So the idea of the portal is basically now the idea of transcendence into the point that um, uh, the person can be one with the cow. So we, I created this portal that already tells you that if uh, the spirit and the ghost spell is ready enough, you can be able to move all the way from there. And then immediately when it does that, it now it takes you on, on this thing that I call the ancestral world, the ancestral plane, which is quite no music and it shows you the portal back. But what it also shows you is the direction for you to actually meet the cow, uh, the cattle. So on his story, he said like, um, he was scared to actually uh, meet the cattle because the cattle was kind of like chasing uh, him around. But what we, what I did here was basically have the signs, these particles that are moving towards the cattle to actually show you, uh, show the user to actually go and meet the cattle that is so relaxed. And I put a sparkle around it uh, to show this is a holy cattle. Because in Soto, in the Soto culture, the cattle is referred as Mudimanko Emeti. So meaning that uh, the god of uh, the god with a wet, the god with a nose with a water. That's a that's a loose translation of it. So now you have a giant cattle, uh, more big, uh, with big horns and with particle systems around it to actually represent uh, the enlightenment of the cattle and the enlightenment that could make the, play, the player to actually feel when they're here. So yeah, um, that's about it, about uh, the world. It's more experiential. I thought I was gonna put games, but I end up taking time to sort out the quota making simulator of which it didn't work. Then I end up just working on making the ancestral plane from that point. Then we can go back to, to the to the class you there and listen to some music then. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Basil. So you you created everything by yourself? Sorry? You you created everything by I yourself, the whole world. The whole concept. Yeah. It's really incredible. Yeah, this whole township, uh, we've been working on the whole concept of the, um, yeah, the whole concept of the township, we've been working on it. And as I said, like last time, uh, when we were chatting about it, just those two concepts 
we fit in perfectly with this concept. Then that's when, but the access trap I have to start it during the film because it was inspired by Sifi. So, and then I started to work on it from that point. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna are you gonna continue working on it? Because it, it would be fantastic yeah. to have it as well in the Amazed train station one day. I think Stephanie, this uh, this uh, game jams are too yeah. short. You know, I mean, this online game jams. We need more time. <laughs> right. That's also what I thought. Also, please, please, we really need it in the train station. Please, it's so dope. Really, thank you. <laughs> That's nice, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll definitely finish up the first vision and release it. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, I could not release it. And the other time, I thought I would have enough time to finish the whole film. But yo, it's a lie to think you have enough time with Game Jam, see? <laughs> yeah. Do you, know, do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, you know, your train station, you know, the train, maybe the train could leave and go to an island, and that's where you'd have this world and the, the the architecture tubes and you know so there might be destinations that the train actually goes to in future not saying now but then you could have worlds right it's just an idea yeah absolutely that would be great to have uh, um the train is always moving and then you can actually jump out of the stations yeah it's also an option yeah. right and we also we already had the indian train moving isn't it torsten um, yeah that was that was moving yeah yeah very fa very yeah. fast, and you could also train surf, which is also awesome. Yeah, so that was cool. DJ on the party roof. up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah <on> the <laughs> what beautiful yeah, thank you so much. What the, the architecture, yeah. just like oh man, so futuristic, and that, uh, and then the, the the building world of the art, man. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of this. This is wicked. So, yeah, it was really really amazing. Thank you guys, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, is there anything else what we can show right now? Or is it uh, uh, Deke? You also have uh, spoken to a lot of people. Because I mean, uh, I think Jay yes. is missing, right? Jay's yeah. world is missing. She wants to. That's right. Jay and. Um... And Marie. Yes. I dropped them a, a link to the Zoom call, but um, it doesn't look like they're here right now. I mean, we can keep we can keep trying to get in hold of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then thank you so much for this wonderful fourth Amazed Strange, and thank you to the artists. Thank you to Goethe Institute and to Metaverse Crew South Africa and um, everybody who is participating in this wonderful journey here. Um, and if you have any ideas how we can also, um, yeah, make the Maze train station a little more, more uh, attended or something like that, if you want to do a performance or whatever, or when you have some ideas like Lloyd had, just drop us um, in, this, in Discord or just directly to Deke. And then we see what we can do um, to make this train station become a, a hotspot for, for a lot of great art and games and new worlds. Would be, would be really, really nice. <clears throat> and now I think we have a DJ set, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. So I'm gonna drop the this I'm gonna drop the stream link into the chat. Uh, there it is, and we're going to be going live as soon as we're done with this call. Well, I mean, the stream is live. We're going to be dropping the DJ set uh, as soon mm -hmm. as we end. Okay, cool. Thank you, Deke. That's awesome. Thank thanks, you all. Hopefully, we can everybody. see each other. Yes, thank you to everybody. I hope we can see each other then in the art chat to listen to music and talk a little bit further. Um, Stephanie, do you want to say some closing words? Yeah, thank you to everyone. It's amazing, really. I'm very excited about every single game and world. And um, I really would like to have that punky township in the train station. So 
<laughs> Please pass or finish it. Yeah, thank you to everyone who participated, to the artists, Torsten, Metaverse Crew, Bulane, um, Africa Games Week. Um, thank you very much. Um, this was unfortunately my last train jam because I'm um, transferred to Munich and I really would need such a tube to live in because <laughs> it's impossible to find any apartment in Munich. So please send me <laughs> one or mm -hmm. I, I, I will live in one in the train station. So um, I hope the train jams will continue and that we will be able to add a physical layer to them next year maybe i join you and i just fly over from munich to johannesburg which would be lovely thank you to everyone thank you torsten for the amazing um work and collaboration and also Bulane and the whole crew and yeah i'm repeating myself i'm very excited and uh, see you in the club in the train station uh, to listen to um our wonderful dj set <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. Great. And uh, also to the artist, maybe you want to have some kind of last words. That would be also fantastic. So uh, um, maybe Joao, maybe you also want to uh, um, say something. Um, I mean, you just saw the works right now, but uh, it would be nice to, to get some feedback. And um, what do you think about the idea how we can involve artists in this kind of metaverse creation? It would be very interesting to hear. Also from Ivy. Yeah, it's. I think it's super interesting the way everyone, um, you you know, kind of took inspiration in different ways. Um, you know, from from like from uh, aesthetics to to concepts to and and everything so different. It's really amazing to see the different things that everyone made, and it's so cool to just to uh, just to watch it yeah I don't know what more to say really I, I really like the idea as well of using artworks as as a jumping off point um, you know it's sort of the the it feeds back the two feed back to each other I think in an interesting way great thank you it means a lot when you say something like that because I really love to continue something similar um, because this is, uh, um, yeah, it brings brings uh, worlds together, and, and as well, um, it's it's a way of uh, as well communicating on a, on an artistic level. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And do we have uh, as well um, Ivy still here? Because uh, um, thank you, Joao. I'm here. <laughs> yes. Aha, yes, no. Um, give, give us some feedback, please. Oh, yes, no. Thank you so much to, to everyone. Um, I think for me, I'm overwhelmed. I am. I, I actually, over the years, had to claim the, 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 the title of futurist because of... <laughs> I was very, you know, skeptical about it, but I would always get that from people around me. And this is like the futurist in me is like jumping up and down. I'm so excited. And um, I think the concept in terms of, um, I like how um, the developments we see, we, we have seen in terms of how everything started um, after they hear about the stories of the artwork and, and, and to the outcome, to the finishing. Um, wow, amazing. Um, I think even with the last one, the township one, oh my goodness, how how might we? It's I mean flying quantum, what really? Oh my goodness. So um I'm excited about this and I would love to also even collaborate even further. I am in and put myself in, even if you don't want me in. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to hear. Wonderful. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ivy. Um, Thank you. <laughs> the, the next train jam is going to happen and then you can join. Would be, would be really cool. Um, yes, I think that's, that's, that's it for now. Um, we, we're going to see each other um, in the stream or on the R chat. 
Um, Vulani, I, I always, uh, I always have an, a new ideas how I can continue that. Sorry, <laughs> because, because maybe Vulani wants to say as well something. Sorry about that, because uh, he's with us uh, the last three days and um, and and also has something to say about the game box. Because especially for people from Johannesburg, or even when international developers and uh, artists coming to Johannesburg, I think you definitely should go to Goethe Institute and check out what's happening in the library. Um, also make contact with the Goethe Institute. Maybe Wulani, you want to take over on that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Justin. Uh, no, I'm not going to say a lot. Um, just like to thank everyone for contributing already. Everyone has heard enough of my voice. <laughs> right now, but uh, I mean, uh, this is uh, yeah. What your Tostin is saying is quite true. Like I said, uh, we are we have done some refer refurbishments to the game box, and it's going to look amazing. I can confidently say it is the going to be the best uh, gamer gamer development, a gaming centered a center in South Africa. Once we are done with it, I mean, we have a lot of new equipment in it. Uh, and it's open to the public, it's open to the uh, game devs, it's open to gamers, it's even open to something which we're really going into now from next year, esports, surprisingly, and uh, we are really there, and Stephanie has been uh, really uh, pushing on that forefront in terms of involving, uh, uh, you know, people from, uh, so basically, and also archiving, archiving, archival of games, archiving, archiving some of the games that were part of the Strange Jam as well, we'd like to do that. Uh, you know, just a nice space to preserve gaming history and also in, in terms of the African context. And we are also working on other things, the hack hackathons. You can join other our other programs as well that are taking place there. We have hackathons. We have uh, also going to be doing some uh, exciting work, and we have done some already in in AI projects and things like that. We also also have game small game um, gaming studios uh, accelerator programs where we enable them to partner with big uh, studios in uh, in Europe and other countries. So, I mean, there's a lot going. It's a very vibrant place. And this is also uh, the game, the Train Jam is always the last event of the year and the crowning jewel of, of everything that we're doing. Thank you to Tostin and, and the team um, uh, also for uh, collaborating with us on this one. But uh, I really encourage everyone who's based around it, uh, even not necessarily the Joburg area, just in South Africa. I mean, it's only an hour, a 30, well, 45 minutes flight to Joburg, you can come from anywhere and just join us. You know, if you are from another uh, country, obviously you're welcome to make this your first stop if you're a gamer. Yeah, we are, yeah, we're there when we are, um, you know, partnering with all the institutes even around, uh, are based around Gauteng as well. So, I mean, this just, this is what it is, an open invitation and we welcome everyone. You know, you need resources, you need support, you need to pitch ideas, we need, you know, for projects and things like that, we're here to, so have a look and see what we can do. All right, so um, that's that on my end. And Tosten, I don't know if I can mention it now. I think maybe we might have forgotten to mention, we do have, no, I think it's up to you. You mentioned, you mentioned it, the thing about, uh, uh, you know, talk about the t-shirts. <laughs> oh, by me, like, uh, we have t-shirts. <laughs> For everyone who who joins the, the 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 train jam, um, and also I mean it was basically it was made for for the physical, for everybody who can actually pick it up. So for the physical train jammers, um, we have T-shirts in different sizes, <laughs> and you can actually go to Goethe Institute and pick it up, right? I mean this is uh, what I should say, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. but I don't know how this works, and I don't know how the Goethe Institute is open, and if you need something, but maybe we yeah. we we're gonna write an email. Yeah, I'm going to try and right. do something. Yeah, it's just yes. a way, it's our way of thanking everyone for contributing. Of course, we had something big. Up there. We had food, we had a whole train uh, trip. And we, hauled, we, hauled, we had it down to Cape Town and also free access to Gay Africa Games Week. This is all stuff we had. But uh, unfortunately, for yeah. all the members, uh, free stuff, free, the keyword free. But unfortunately, uh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, yeah the variant uh, took uh, took it. So, but we still do have the t-shirts. Yes, it is a bit tricky to come to the institute right now. So, of course, you might you, you need to have uh, at least tested if you are negative or something like that. So, you know, it's just for the safety of everyone. But you can come pick up. Uh, we would love for you to come pick up your. Um, yeah, Mia Fanzel is, is really <laughs> bummed in the comments. 
<laughs> yes, rightfully so. Um, yeah, I mean, in the in the chat, uh, yeah, um, I mean, you can come and pick up the churches, uh, the shishas. They they were ready for all the the people that registered for the for the train jam. So I might as well uh, come. If you're around the area, you can come. Um, just check whether the institution is open though as well, and also just observe all protocol. We will write an email as 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 uh, Thorsten has said. Uh, I think we can have this open. I don't know, up to you. Uh, I think it's up to you, um, Stephanie, to actually can let us know if we could have it open maybe until next year, end of Jan, for people to come in and pick up some of those T-shirts uh, that participated uh, and, you know, in the train jam. Um, yeah, they can just come to the Institute and pick up. Um, in terms of people outside the country, I am not going to lie. I, I, I have no idea how we're going to post this stuff to you. We would love to post. It's just so hard and it's a, con it's a lot of <laughs> it's quite difficult to do it. Um, I mean, if you have a plan, I'm more than welcome to take that over and sort of arrange. But it's, a, but it's a definitely as well a good reason to, to come to Joburg. Yeah, 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 to so come, yeah. That's yeah, you, you, you just, not, not, not right now, not right now, yes. but the teacher is waiting. Oh, no, I don't waiting. know how long I'm going to keep it. But yeah, yeah, the soon, you have to come to Joburg soon. I, de I definitely going to yes. get my T-shirt. I definitely going to yeah. get my T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it has to come with you. you I'm, I'm, come, I'm coming in March. I'm coming in March. I'm coming in March. Within the next yeah. three months, until March, you have to come to Joburg. <laughs> so yeah. Beyond that, I'm sorry, I can't help you. This is the best we can do from the case. I don't know if... It's XL, a... it's my size. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. That's, those are the T's and, T's and C's. Uh, Stephanie, I don't know what I've said, if it's going to get me in trouble with you, but uh, yeah, you can just tell me if it's okay. Or it's no I'm trouble. I sort of went off the script there, trying to, you know, I'm, I'm just blown away by how much people dedicated and they feel they really need to get their t-shirts. I mean, you already made them. Definitely. Um, we have different uh, positive tested colleagues. That's why I can't guarantee that you get your t-shirt next week. But um, like Vulana said, we sent you an email and inform you how you can get the t-shirt. And I think we also have Walter traveling to Berlin. So maybe he also can take some t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, that would be a great time. All right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. And then I can send it from there because I mean, we just have to make sure that, that the t-shirts also going to get delivered to all the right. other countries. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but we make a plan, don't worry, and we'll keep you updated on the T-shirts. <laughs> and Tosk, okay, we now, can exchange yeah. my, your T-shirt into my hoodie, uh, but now yeah, I stop with the T-shirt, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love T-shirts. So, um, and I love music, and I love party, and that's why we're going to jump now into the live stream of the DJ Fatostik. Fatostiki. Fatostoki. Fatostoki. Yeah. Fatostoki. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I, I love music, I love parties. And now let's jump into the Archit and the stream and listen to Fatostiki. Is this correct? Yeah, 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 in the ballpark, in the ballpark. Uh, <laughs> That's not even anywhere near the ballpark, man. I'm trying to no, it's just cool. like that. That's not cool. Okay, okay Joao. Joao, do the announcement, please, for us. Because That's it's going to be recorded. That's Stokey. That's Stokey. Yeah. And now, let's party very hard in the R chat and on the stream with DJ Fastoki from Johannesburg. Thank you so much for joining the Amazed Train Jam. And hopefully we're gonna see each other very soon on the train and not just in the virtual world. Thank you so much. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, bye. bye. <laughs>